Good day, everyone. Good day, Father. As we come together to celebrate the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, please join me in praying for Matthew Crowley, Phyllis Miseraca, and Glenn Morris. And let us join our hearts and minds as we sing together, we gather together. happiness 
to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress, since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Yes, it can be frightful, but the Lord 
always tenders that fright and anxiety with those comforting words, I will always be with you. With those words that he spoke over and over again to his disciples, do not be afraid. Jesus always tends to our needs. And even though the signs of the times, even though the natural signs that might occur around us seem to point to the end of the world, we as fellow disciples, we as the children of God, we as the children of the light, we are filled with hope. Because as the first reading from the prophet Daniel reminds us, Michael the archangel will be sent to protect God's elect, God's children. And we will shine like the stars in heaven. Even though the celestial bodies may not show their power any longer, but because of the light of Christ in our hearts, the light of Christ in our lives, we, as God's children, can shine, can shine the light of God's mercy, can shine the light of God's compassion, can shine the light of the Lord Jesus in this time of darkness. So yes, the signs of nature, the earthquakes, the wars between people, the famine, the hunger, all that is occurring could be signs of the end times. We don't know because no one knows the hour or the moment. But rather than being filled with fear, rather than being filled with anxiety, rather than stocking up our pantries, let us be firm in our hope in the Lord Jesus, who takes care of each and every one of us, who reminds us that not a hair on our heads will be lost when we pull out, put our full trust and hope in Him. May the Holy Spirit, who has been given to each and every one of us as our advocate, as our defender, may that Holy Spirit help us to be hope-filled at every moment of our lives. And may St. Michael the Archangel defend and guard us in that day of battle. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate for the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, we place our prayers before our Heavenly Father. On this world day of the poor, we remember the poor, the hungry, the homeless. May they receive respect, generosity, kindness, and support. We pray to the Lord. We pray that local, state, and federal officials devote themselves to the common good and resist the corruption of this world. We pray to the Lord. Amen. 
We pray for the wisdom to treat all others with the same love and generosity as we ourselves would wish to receive from our loving God on our day of judgment. We pray to the Lord. We pray that the world's resources, so generously gifted by our Creator, may be fairly shared among the peoples of the earth. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our departed family members, friends and benefactors, and especially Matthew Crowley, Phyllis Miseraka, and Glenn Morse. May they be welcomed in God's kingdom of peace and mercy, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for the Catholic community of Gloucester and Rockport. May the Holy Spirit inspire us to live the gospel, share God's love, and rebuild his church. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercy, help us to stay awake at all times, watchful in prayer and prepared for your coming. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of the Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, the glory, the glory, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Decorated 
pre-box big goods and bees raffles. Of our various raffle tables downstairs. So if you would like to join us, that'll take place from 9 to 1 next Saturday at St. Anne. So join us as we enter into the festive and holiday seasons. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a blessed week, everyone.